Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to make some Windows 11 installation media that will bypass the TPM check during installation. So if you may or may not know that when you install Windows 11, it wants to look for a TPM or Trusted Platform Module. And if you don't have one, then you're not going to be able to install it. And there's ways that you could actually get around this if you want to do some registry hacking during the installation. So we have a video on that. So let's say you want to uh, create a Windows 11 virtual machine, you know, VirtualBox or VMware Workstation. So VMware Workstation has the ability to add a virtual TPM so you could actually install it correctly. Where VirtualBox right now doesn't have a way to add a TPM, so you either have to do the uh, registry hack during the installation or not install a Windows 11. So we're going to show you how to create this Windows 11 media so you could uh, just go ahead and do a straight install. So you have to download these uh, particular files here. One of them is a batch file. Let's see what we got here. There we go. And uh, one thing I noticed when you run this batch file, it might, your antivirus might pop up as it being infected or have some kind of spyware on it. So here's the message that I got when I ran it on my host computer here. So I'm not sure exactly what that is. So it's up to you if you want to go ahead and try this for yourself. And, uh, you know, maybe you could run this on a different computer that you, uh, you, don't, you don't worry about, and then, you, then you'll have the ISO file, uh, and then you can move it on to the main computer you want to use it on. So I'm going to actually make the ISO file on this uh, virtual machine, because like I said, when I tried to run it on my main host computer, it was blocked. So once I do that, then I'll actually show you how to create the Windows 11 VM in VirtualBox and show you how it works without having to have uh, uh, the TPM installed. All right, so what you want to do is you want to right-click on the Media Creation Tool Batch File, run as administrator, say yes. Then you just wait for this guy to finish here. Now it's going to bring up the screen here asking which uh, version of Windows you want to download the media for. So obviously you want Windows 11 because I think these are all Windows 10 um, versions. And so you want to create ISO, USB, what you want to do, I'm going to do an ISO file. Now it's going to run the typical um, Windows downloader for the installation media. It's going to say Windows 10 because they probably haven't updated it yet, so don't worry about that. So once this is done, you'll have your ISO file. But like I said, I already have this done, so I have my ISO file here on my host computer right there. So this is the one that was actually done using this method. So rather than wait, we're just going to go ahead and use this file here. So now I'm going to create a new virtual machine in uh, VirtualBox. I call this, I'll do Pro this time. I already have a home version. Let's give it six gigs. Okay. this 50 because we don't need this big of a drive for test VM. All right, so now I'm going to go to the settings and attach that file, that ISO that we created, which is this guy here, which matches what we have here. And click OK, and we're going to start it up. Okay, pick our language, click on install now. Don't have a product key. Uh, Windows 11 Pro. So by now you would have got the TPM or your computer wasn't, isn't a, uh, configured to install Windows 11, and it wouldn't have let you get past this point. So this shows you right here that it bypassed the TPM check, and we're installing Windows, so everything's good after that. And that's the way I did it for this uh, home edition here, and it worked out just fine. So like I said, I'll put a link in the description. So you just download that zip file, extract it, right-click on the Media Creation Tool batch file, take your chances on, you know, running it on your main computer, because uh, I'm not sure exactly what this is, if it's really threat or if it's just, you know, 
finding some p false positives. So up to you. And then you could install Windows and you'll be good to go. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.